Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna get right into it with the Catrice blush in the shade Berry. Um, I already did my base makeup and I tried filming that but I was in the bathroom and I didn't have the best lighting. So I'm just gonna put that all over my cheeks and my eyelids just to bring some color back into my face. Next, I'm going to take the Milani palette that I got from Ulta. I ended up dropping it, and I'm really upset about it. <laughs> then I'm going to take the Milani Stay Put Brow Gel in the shade Dark Brown. I don't really do anything specific with my brows, I just kind of fill in the gaps. As you can see, they're already kind of thick and dark naturally. My phone also kept focusing on the background and I had to keep messing with the light, so just ignore that. Next, I'm going to take this fluffy brush and go into the James Charles palette. I'm going to take the orange brown shade that's in the middle as a transition shade. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. I forgot to show this next shade, but it was a shade or two darker than the transition shade that I used. And I'm just going to put that on the outer corners of my eyelids. Then I'm going to take that first shade that's in the palette and put that in the inner corners of my eyelids. Then I'm taking the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner Pen and just doing some wings. I'm going to set my face with a MAC setting spray and then I'm going to go back into the Milani palette and use that first shade as a highlight. Then I'm going to go in with the new mascara from Too Faced and use that as a base. Then I'm going to take the IT Cosmetics Super Hero Mascara. It definitely makes a big difference. The only downside is it's kind of messy and it does get on my eyelids sometimes. 
and also I naturally have very long lashes especially on my bottom lashes so um, it kind of sticks to the top and it's a little frustrating <laughs> Then I'm going to take a NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Pink. Next on to hair, I'm going to take this heat protectant that I got at Sally's really quick. Because I'm going to blow dry my hair. I try not to blow dry my hair as often as I can. Because my hair is very fragile and damaged from bleaching it so much. So I usually just let it air dry. But I was kind of in a rush this day. And um, I didn't want to walk around with wet hair. My hair is already about 50-60% to 60 dry. So I didn't need to blow dry it that much. I'm going to use a Revlon hair dryer that I got from Walmart. It came with a diffuser piece and a regular nozzle that all hair dryers come with. I don't really do anything fancy, I just kind of run it through my hair. And I'm just going to brush it out a little bit. Here I'm just going to take a couple bobby pins and pin back my bangs. I ended up putting my hair in little pigtail buns as you saw in the beginning of this video. But that's this finished look. I hope you like it guys. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Before I end this video, I did grab a couple of products from Overtone that I will be reviewing in a later video, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!